Hello there. My name is Phil Hare. Uh, I'm a professional acoustic guitarist. The purpose of this video is to to help people who are just starting out uh, on the on the road to playing guitar. And what we're going to do in this, we're going to learn about the fundamentals of the diatonic system, which I'll explain in greater detail uh, later through the the use of the uh, do re mi fa sol la ti do 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 do. do. Uh, that's what we're going to use, and the chords that are connected with that. Very important, very fundamental to a lot of uh, a lot of Western music. So that's what we're going to do. Um, t the example we're going to use, which hopefully you'll you'll uh, join me in playing, is um, and don't all laugh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, it's 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 simple and, and and pretty, and you're effectively playing a whole tune with a bass bit and a melody bit without having to perhaps. Um, sing the darn thing and make a fool of yourself. Uh, we'll, we'll use Twinkle to explain the idea of keys, and the idea of scales, and then chords that result from those scales. And then we'll learn to play Twinkle, and in that we will cover the fundamentals of tuning up, we'll cover finger picking, we'll cover the use of tablature, and we'll do all of that just in the study of this one simple daft little tune so, for example, in Twinkle Twinkle, you may learn to go... Okay, and with everything you do, you actually um, you put yourself in a better position by thinking, well, what's an extension of that? What, what else could I use that for? For example, with that, I think of Simon and Garfunkel's Feeling Groovy, the 59th Bridge Street song, which involves all these moves. You know, I think of the, uh, something simple like lean on me. And so on and so forth. So, so you know, always look out at the square and see what else you can get from it. And just to conclude on this, um, best of luck uh, with what you endeavour to do and just enjoy it. So you've got your guitar, you've got it at home, and you're thinking to yourself, how on earth do I tune this up? Now, you may have been given a tuner in the shop. Um, I still think it's probably better on a sandwich because I, I would like to hear everybody use their ears uh, and develop their own sense of sound so they can hear what's in tune and what isn't. So we're going we're gonna to tune up now, and I'm just going to briefly go through the names of the strings. When you buy a, a package of strings, you'll quite often it'll say, Six, five, four, three, two, one on the back of the packet. And we're going to use that numbering system when we start picking. You know, so the pick picking in, in the future, I might say, you know, six, two, three, one, for example. Um, so let's look at the strings. So here we've got the bottom E or sixth string, and that's okay. And here we've got the fifth string or A, A or fifth. And here we've got the D or fourth. And we've got the G or third. We've got the B or second. And finally, we've got the top E or first. Okay. You might wish to remember the names of the strings with a simple acronym such as every angry dog goes berserk every day. So we're going to tune up now. Now, here, you'll see a thing called a fret chart, which is essentially a road map of the whole guitar. It gives you every note on every string, on every fret. Every single note that you'll ever want is there. Quite often, people, when they start to play, particularly those people who are really into their music, they might just sit there and, and, and place their fingers there and go... and go, oh, that sounds nice. Listen to this chord, mother. It sounds very nice. And they don't, they don't know what it is at all. So if they look at the fret chart, they can actually see, they can actually look, as you look at the guitar like this, that's exactly as you're looking at that fret chart, and you can actually work out what notes you're playing. And you can see from the fret chart there that this E or sixth, if you go five frets up, one, two, three, four, five, you'll notice on the E or sixth string at fret five, there's the note of A. Now that's what your fifth string should be. Just depress the middle finger on fret five of the bottom E and just pluck that note. 
Okay, that's now the note of A. We need to make sure that the fifth string is the same. If we wanted that string to be raised on these three tuning pegs on this side of the headstock, this is the headstock here, um, we would go <coughs> anti-clockwise to tune the strings upwards and clockwise to take them down. Okay, And at the end, if you play those two together, they should sound similar. If you look at string five on the A string, at the fifth fret, you've got the D note, which is what your next string needs to be. So we'll just do the same thing there. Fret five, the A string, and then that should be the same as your D string. And you can see there with the D string, this fourth one, fret five of there is the G note. So we play those two together. Now, when we, we're now moved, we've moved across to this bottom part of the headstock, G, B and E strings, and if you want to take these up, you, it's the opposite to here. You now go clockwise to tune up and anti-clockwise to come down. So we would play on our fifth fret of D there to get our G in tune. And this is where it changes now. You, you can see on the G string, fret four will give you a B note. And then finally, we're back up to fret five there to tune the top E or first string by playing the 5th fret of the B string. So, once we've tuned up, how will we know we're in tune? Well, my recommendation here is to play a chord. And here I'm going to play a G chord. Uh, and this is a big G chord. Uh, in other words, it's, a, it's, it's got an extra note in it. I'm just going to play this now. There we are. That sounds OK, doesn't it? Uh, what, just one thing i add there is if that was slightly out, let's just take it, take it slightly out. I'm going to just detune the, that top E string and play that chord for you again. Ooh. OK, let's go back to what we've just learned. Fret 5 of the B string. Play the E note. And I play the two together. OK, and now I'll try my chord again. And we'll check if it's in tune. And remember, we're looking for this absolute closeness of, of notes here, so that's better.